doing doing is just running the thing they're the one with the vision they're the one with the implementation of it but the larger the company gets when you get a large company with different types of departments of course then it's too big for one person to just come up with the budget the, the departments have to come up with the budget uh because they're the ones that are running in the numbers it has to be decentralized in some kind of way so when we get a larger company we've got to go from the bottom up type of budget we got to go and get the numbers from the people in the departments that are there and then I'll put those together in in a bottom to top kind of structure so final answer b budget figures are developed b from the bottom up next question preparing budgets for each of several feature periods and then revising those budgets as each period is completed is either a uh, participatory budgeting b adjustable budgeting c strange budgeting d continuous budgeting and e master budgeting all right let's go through this again using the process of elimination preparing budgets for each of several future periods and then revising those budgets as each period is completed is so we got the full budget and then we're going to revise them basically as we go a uh, participatory budget uh, i mean it might sound reasonable i'll keep that for now b says adjustable budget that sounds kind of reasonable like what we're doing c says strange budget it does sound strange but I, I doubt we named it the strange budget so that's probably not and then d says continuous budget again that kind of sounds like what we're doing it's kind of like a continuous thing and e says master budget and that's kind of what we've been looking at so i'll keep all of these and go through this again preparing budgets for each of several future periods and then revising those budgets as each period is completed is now of those note that I, the, the participatory budget doesn't sound reasonable i think all budgets are going to be kind of participatory because they're going to try to communicate with the company but i don't think that's what it's going to be called e is the master budget and this one seems to be some type of deviation from the normal master budget that we've been talking about so i don't think it's e and then the other kind of unusual budget names we would have adjustable budgeting continuous budgeting those both kind of indicate just by the name of it what we're doing here in some way uh, the continuous budgeting is actually the term that possibly we recognize that's the one that it's actually called final answer preparing budgets for each of several future periods and then revising those budgets as each period is completed is d continuous budget